my channel. Welcome back if you've been here before and welcome if you're new. My name is Kaylin and I have alopecia so I like to do wig reviews here on my channel um, and show you different wigs. I thought I would try something a little different today. I think sometimes without meaning to I kind of film farther away than I kind of realize I am. So today I made it kind of a point to um, try to be closer to the camera so you guys can really see um, the wig that I'm wearing really well. So um, without further ado, let's get into this. So this is Heidi from John Renault and um, she is a beautiful synthetic piece. I love John Renault's synthetic wigs. I think the fibers feel so nice, um, but I've already said that I think here on this channel. So yeah, let's just get um, right into it. So <laughs> Heidi is from their Smart Lace collection. I am wearing her in the color 24BT 18S8 shaded mocha. She has a lace front. Oh, I got one of the little pieces kind of tucked under. She's a lace front, temple to temple. Things look crazy. She has a single monofilament top, as you can see, which goes to about here on the sides of my head. I already said she's synthetic. She has an open wefted cap, which I'll show you at the end of the video when I take her off. And she comes in an average, I have her an average, um, Oh, I should double check how many sizes she comes in. Hold, please. Okay, I think based on their website that she only comes in average, so there's no petite or large version of Heidi, um, which is kind of a bummer because I'm a petite, so. But yeah, she has uh, velvet ear tabs. Both of the ear tabs are velvet. Her nape is velvet, and then she has adjustable Velcro um, straps in the back. So pretty typical uh, wig cap construction. I think I've reviewed a lot of wigs with essentially this exact same cap design, um, but I will still show it. So pardon me if I'm looking down. I'm gonna read her measurements off of this, where I wrote them down on this piece of paper. So her bangs are seven inches, so I'm assuming that's these bangs right here these pretty side swept bangs that she has. Um, the crown is 15 inches, the nape of her neck is nine, and her sides are 10.5 inches, and she weighs 4.6 ounces. And I will say, I feel like, I don't know if you can tell, she does have some permatees in the back, which I know permatees serves a purpose. Um, it gives you, you know, constant body all the time, which is nice. Um, but I know some people don't love permatease. I don't love when it's like overly done. I don't feel like she has too much though. Um, so yeah, now that I read you all of the <laughs> things that I wrote down, let's just tell you what I think about her. So this is one of my favorite colors from John Renault. As I've said on here before, I have Zara in this color and I also have Kristen in this color, which I have reviewed on this channel. I reviewed Kristen on here. Um, there's a lot of colors glowing, going on. Um, it's a very long color code, so there's a lot going on. 24BT18S8, but it is, I think it's a really pretty color for someone that maybe is transitioning over to blonde, so you're not ready to go like totally blonde, but you wanna try a lighter look. This one is really nice for that because it has a lot of light, um, kind of goldeny blonde colors in it, but it still has that dark root for you if you're used to being brunette or wearing brunette. It has lots of dark colors in it. Um, I'm so bad at describing, you know, like shades, but um, yeah, I think it's really pretty. If you wanna go lighter, maybe transition to blonde, but you're not ready to go like totally blonde yet, I would love to try her in more of like a goldeny blonde with a dark root, maybe. Um, personally, just because I love um, blonde synthetic pieces. So personally, I would love to try that, but I love her in this color too. Um, I'll do a 360, but I feel like, I do feel like she's kind of A-line her front. Like the front is longer than the back a little bit. So there is a little bit of edgy style there. I do love these bangs. Um, it's been a long time since I've really rocked a bang. <laughs> Growing up and wearing wigs in school, I always had bangs, but I just had like the straight bangs. Then in high school, I kind of graduated to like side swept, like, but like shorter, you know? And then now uh, these ones are kind of longer and I think they're really pretty. I do love how she comes with some wave uh, built-in 
for you, which if you have never had like a wavy or curly hair piece, I do have some posts on my Instagram on how to take care of them. And I also did a review on the Mila by Don Renault. She is a curly piece. And in that video, I gave some pointers about how to take care of wavy or curly pieces. So if that's ever deterred you from buying a wig because you weren't sure how to take care of a curly wig, um, don't let it. They're so easy. There's just a couple extra steps you can take. But anyways, um, I love that she has some wave built in because I literally took this wig and I just popped it onto my head and it looks like I took time on my hair. It looks like I curled it, styled my bangs, looks like I teased it a little. So it totally looks like I put effort into getting ready and as far as my hair and I didn't. So that is um, one reason that I love synthetic wigs, that they are styled for you. So if you are like quick, gotta go, um, it's so nice. I do love this style. I don't always wear longer synthetic pieces. Be just because they do rub on your shoulders and your clothes. So I feel like um, you can, you can obviously, uh, but you just have to take a lot of care when you brush them out later in the evening. Um, go nice and slow, use a wide tooth comb um, and some detangler and you're good to go. Um, but I'm also, as I've said on here, I'm a huge fan of like short synthetic pieces, but I love longer pieces too. I just feel like they take a little bit extra care as far as, the brushing goes. So I'll do a 360 and we'll uh, look at the inside of the cap. Oh, also, I'm in front, as always, in front of a really big window. So this is like totally natural light that you were seeing this color in. Let's show you what the inside of her cap looks like. Okay, so as I said earlier, she's a lace front, which you see here. Here is her single monofilament top. <laughs> the open wefted back, adjustable Velcro tabs, velvet ear tabs, got a little makeup on her, <laughs> velvet nape, it just makes, the velvet ear tabs and nape just make it feel more, it's more of a comfort thing, I think. Um, it's just nice and soft. Um, but yeah, there she is. Really pretty. So as I always say, I hope that you found this video helpful. If you've been thinking about buying Heidi and you just weren't sure, um, or maybe you weren't sure about this color that I have her in. But anyways, I hope it was helpful. I hope it was informative and I hope you guys enjoyed. As always, leave questions below and I'll try to get them answered. Um, and thank you for watching. Bye.